today we are going to set up cloud panel and combine it with cloudflare ssl certificate in our previous video we created cloud panel on uh, volta we deployed an instance and uh, this was the instance we deployed i'll show you how to add an ssl certificate so you simply go to add websites add a site on your cloud panel as we saw it has five options we can either create a it has a one click install for wordpress site php node.js a static html site and a python site but we are only interested in a wordpress site so we're going to create a wordpress site and in our case since we know our ip address let's point our ip address to our domain name and we're going to use cloudflare so today we are going to use josh wp xyz last time we used josh wp site and then go to dns management want to change some records here as you can see we have these records you can just do delete you can just change the happy address simply as that and then save okay that is for the main we are not going to use mail so we are going to delete mail don't need to use mail now i never said this but cloud panel doesn't support mail and uh, the reason being they just want the panel to be faster don't want people to experience lagging when they are running on the panel so we we'll change this one oh it's okay six and then everything now it's okay we just wanted to change the ip address and we have changed the ip address so give it some few minutes so that it may propagate and if it's, it's your first time to add your website to on cloud on cloudflare i have a video on the same you can find it on the link on the description below it's there on the description below there there's a link to that and also a link to the previous video you can check that so you can use a a, a tool like a dns checker let's see if it is propagated yeah, i know it's fast we are using cloudflare and cloudflare is so fast xyz XYZ. let's see what we have immediately it has already propagated so we have nothing to worry let's go back to our panel now we can add we, are, we wanted to add a new website so the website i want to add is joshwp.xyz xyz title is josh site josh wp again always use that one okay just a pp demo okay let's see uh username okay yeah, email it uh we use josh wp4 at gmail.com and then this is our password copy this password and keep it safe it's what we're going to use and then now we can create the WordPress install. We can install it. See how it's running? It's running so fast. Give it a few minutes. So we are going to be given some uh, credentials concerning our website. So this is our IP address, username, and uh, data, okay, database name and everything. And for the WordPress admin, we'll be accessing our admin we're we using this password and as the user so you can copy this copy everything you can save it on notepad or microsoft word so save it and then you go back okay so now we as you can see this is our website it has been added georgewp.x xyz so we can manage the website once we issue an ssl certificate in this case so we will go to ssl certificates under action we want to import a cert ssl certificate from cloud flare so here we'll add the private key and the certificate let's go back to cloud flare so under this is under josh wp okay xyz go to ssl and tls go to origin server click origin server 
and then here is the origin certificate creator SSL certificate just leave everything as default as you can see the certificate is valid for 15 years and then create the certificate so as you can see now we have uh, the origin certificate the private this is the private key we are starting with the private key okay so we start with the private key it's the private key there and then uh, we go for the origin certificate install it there. okay the other one leave it blank and then import and install let's see what we have certificate has been installed successfully installed so as we saw last time uh, we have um, vanish cache here you can enable your caching from here under security in this case we want to enable this feature because we already proxying our website through cloudflare it doesn't make sense why then we will not enable this one feature allow all traffic allow traffic from cloudflare alone so we just enable this one we just want traffic anyone who wants to access our website anything that wants any vault that wants to access our website has to go through cloudflare that that way it saves you the stress of spamming so that one is enabled what else uh if you ever want to visit your file manager this is your file manager let me show you for a second time you can do anything you want here you can go there's so much there's anything all your details are here there's some few things i wanted to remind you if you go to admin area we'll see something special the instance that we are running on we'll see that our server is running pure on a pure nginx stack nginx and then we have my sql a sql database you can change it to my maria database database if you want this is php and then we have ready server and a vanish cache so before we test our website don't forget to go back to uh, ssl and certificates and then we want to enable this make sure if it's flexible make sure you enable full street if it's here mostly it is always here so enable full street enable full street and um, edge certificates some few things we want to do here make sure it's also enable enable https what else everything is right is okay enable to also hps here and make sure this one is enabled the tls version to avoid redirect loops so i think we are good to go we can now test our website it's not yet secure it, it takes sometimes so let's continue to see for this as you can see it's already secure it takes a second and then it's now secure our website is now secure this is our website this is the default uh, wordpress theme 2023 so we can access our wordpress admin with wp uh, add just slash wp slash admin and then login remember we saved our credentials here copy this password the user is admin in this case the password that is a strong password we and then we log in we already logged in save the password dismiss that one the first thing i always do is clearing this i, I don't like plugins the default plugins make sure you clean everything make sure your database is clean and then you can go to themes and appearance then also make sure to clean all these themes and leave just one one default theme so clean this one just let, let it load delete that one delete this as well now that we have one this is the one we will see you can use astra cades niv activate it and then also install uh, condensed data templates okay once they're installed uh, this they will help us uh, in um, building the website with pre-made templates so it's easy you can choose whatever template you want to build your website you can choose any maybe let's try this 
if you have a color scheme you can change the color as you can see the buttons color changing the background is changing and you go to the, and then import the full will be having your website within seconds so now it's finished let's view our website and see what we have in this so this is our website as you can see it's as beautiful as you can't imagine <laughs> it's really good you can just edit it and uh, use it you can just go features all the pages you can look at the pages you can just it's it's amazing it's already complete it's a complete website the blog see the blog design they're using okay this is good just need a few customization the contact page everything is good everything is okay everything is okay so that's it for today